All right, so excuse the lawnmowers in the background, but I just got out of the bath, and today is Sunday, and usually on Sundays I have like a lot of crap to do, like I do all my like chores and everything, so then I won't have to do them during the week. I figured that I would take you guys along with me while I do everything. Yeah, it's different, and I've been meaning to do it, but I haven't. But I'm sorry for the way that I look. Like I said, I just got out of the shower and I didn't feel like putting makeup on because I'm just going to be taking it back off. And I'm not going to see anybody else except for you guys. It was really hot today. But I haven't really been outside except for now. I don't even know where to start. I have so much crap to do. I got new flip flops. I needed some. Mine always break. Hopefully these ones don't. And I know my legs are white. Everybody tells me I need a tan and that I need to like sit out and get a tan and stuff, but I don't I don't have the patience for that. And I don't like the sunburn. I don't like how it feels afterwards. Like it just it sucks and it's not for me. I'm perfectly fine with my pale skin. Usually I don't tan, I just freckle. But my arms are really freckly. And in the summertime they get like worse. Like my freckles intensify. Get freckles instead of tanning. Kind of like a ginger, even though I'm not a ginger. My hair's blonde. The first thing that I'm gonna do today is put post its in my breakfast journal for tomorrow's video because I always make my breakfast journal videos on Mondays and then I edit them on Tuesdays and then I upload them on Wednesdays. But basically, what you do is you write little memories on a piece of paper throughout the entire year. And then you cut them out, fold them up, and then put them into a jar. And then at the end of the year, you um, open the jar and then you read all of your memories. And I made a video on it and like a DIY video on how to do it. Every Sunday, I always write out my memories for that week. Like I write down all the memories that happened within that week, um, like on notes. And then at the end of the week, on Sundays, I always write them out and put them into my jars, so I'm going to be doing that after. And then I'm probably going to write to my pen pal, Janice. She's been my um, pen pal since I was like 14. Yes I, yes, I do still have a pen pal, and I'm very proud of that. I'm going to write to her and update her on everything that's happened. The sun's going down, and I've been out here like half the day writing out the stuff for my jar, and I know I look freaking horrible right now because I'm finally done with these and now I'm just going to cut them out and maybe upload my pictures from my iPod because I upload my pictures like every single week too because I don't want it to get too filled up so I always upload my pictures that I've taken on it after I do that then I'm probably going to read my book does anybody know when um Fear the Walking Dead or whatever it's called like the other show that's supposed to be like the Walking Dead that's supposed to like replace it does anybody know when that's supposed to come on? Because, like, I'm unsure. And I really want to watch it. Like, I'm interested. I'm pretty, If you know when that's going to come on, please let me know. Because I would really like to watch it and see what it's about. I'm just going to go ahead and cut the stuff out from my jar. This is what I do. I just put it on notes on my iPod. And, by the way, thumbs up for my Jonas Brothers book that I keep my papers in. I've had this for a really long time, for like a couple of years now. But yeah, I just put them, like, whenever they happen, I always put them in my notes on my iPod to like save them so I won't forget. And then on Sundays, I just write them out on paper. And then I cut them out and fold them up and then stick them into my jar. And then I have them in there for the end of the year. Like, all the funny stuff, all the good stuff that happens. I never put anything bad in here because, no, I just want to remember the good things. And gnats are freaking biting my white legs. I have to tell you guys something real quick. There was this really funny thing that happened to me one time. Um, I was sitting outside with, uh, I think it was my papa and, like, my mom and my dad. My air conditioner just came on, I'm sorry. But we were sitting outside. And when it starts to get dark outside in the summertime, like the gnats and mosquitoes and everything starts to come out. When you're really white like me and you never lay out, you never try anything to get a tan, um, it's like the gnats and the mosquitoes like your skin more, like when it's whiter. 
Anyways, I was getting bit by mosquitoes and gnats and everything. And Pawpaw's just like, yeah, those gnats, they, they like your, they like that white meat. They don't like dark meat like mine. They don't like meat that's too overdone. Oh my god, it was so funny, but I was just like, really? And then the next day I go to church and some kid's just looking at me and he, I don't even know this kid. And he's just like, you're white. And I'm like, I know that. And then, like, the entire conversation stops, and he just walks away. Oh my god, it was so embarrassing. Like, I honestly find nothing wrong with being white. Like, duh, I'm white. Like, get over it. But yeah, it was funny, and that just made me think of that. So. I'm on my second jar for this year. I done filled my first jar all the way up until the all the way up to the top. So this is just my second one. Last year I had three jars filled all the way up to the top of nothing but memories. <laughs> Boo Boo always wears her cover. <laughs> ah. I came inside to be greeted by this little baby. And that little meowing baby. Touchy butt. Mommy's baby. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Explain to me why they would put something like this in something that is edible. I was sitting here eating beef jerky. When I picked this up and almost stuck it in my mouth. And I know that it says do not eat, but like, if you weren't really paying attention, like, that could go terribly wrong. Okay, I'm rolling my window up because we're getting past that freaky part. I'm going for a ride with my parents. You know how other people's legs look like hot dog wieners? Like in pictures and stuff? Well, mine don't even look like hot dog wieners. Mine look like undone hot dog wieners. Like, not even that. Like, they, I don't even know. They're like so white, they don't even look like hot dog wieners. Like how people will post like Instagram selfies or whatever of their legs at the beach. It's really like hot dog wieners. I couldn't do that because my legs don't look like hot dog wieners. My legs look like I don't know, like undone hot dog wieners. If I... not. Oh my god, mom. <laughs> I just got that on my camera. <laughs> I just got that on camera. <laughs> oh my god, mom. You scared the shit out of me. I work at the Honda Barn and yet I get scared because my mom hollers out these nuts when I least expect it. <sighs> my hair's messed up because of the window. Whenever I go home, I'm going to clean my room first, then read my book, then watch The Walking Dead, and then go to bed. This lady over here is pulling up her shirt, like in the parking lot in front of everybody. Where? That woman over there. I hope she didn't hear me. It's a bit kind of loud. I just got back from my ride, and I just came back in from praying. I pray every single night and every single morning whenever I wake up. It helps me get through my day and just helps me with my depression and everything that I'm dealing with. Now I'm just going to clean my room and then I'm probably going to read my books. I never got around to that and then watch The Walking Dead and then probably go to bed. But I think I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog for right now. I know it was probably kind of boring. I may vlog tomorrow. I'm not So I look lovely today. 
I really do. Like, I look like poop. I have my bathing suit on because me and my niece are about ready to get in the sprinkler. My sister and my niece are here today. So I'm just going to wait to take a shower later. My cute tank candy. She wore an itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini that she wore for the first time today. An itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. Put your hand on your hip. Huh? Be like. Mm hmm. I've had this sprinkler like all my life ever since I was a little kid and it still works and it's like the best thing ever. Like I've tried getting a new sprinkler and none of the newer sprinklers like work right. Like they're all made for little kids. This one is too, but it works better. <laughs> Yay. And pee pee. Just get out of the sprinkler. When I get back home, my hair looks really gross because it's still kind of wet and I haven't washed it yet. It's been thundering, so I think it's going to storm here in a little bit. So, hoping for a good thunderstorm because, yeah, I love thunderstorms. I'm going to sit outside and watch it if we do have one. But yeah, I'm probably just going to spend some more time with my niece and then come back home, take a shower, get ready, and then make my wreck this journal video for Wednesday. I'm sorry I look gross. Cute shirt real quick for you but buckle it up. Yeah. Her fishy tank top. <laughs> Uncle Roy's puppy in my vlog. <laughs> oh what? What? Where? It's from here. What she's all stuff. He's so cute. Usually we can kind of extreme this when you go to the bad store. Where it knocks out fire and stuff. Oh, it's going to little message to me on my dry erase board. If I haven't mastered all of the like getting personal with you guys with like no makeup and wearing a towel on my head after I get out of the shower then I've done that now. Um, I just got out of the shower 
Um, my sister and my niece left and went home. And now I'm home alone because my parents went to work. And I'm getting ready to get ready and um, make my breakfast journal video for Wednesday. I'm probably going to record my shows for this week and watch the shows that I have um, on my DVR now, or at least some of them because I have a ton, and then read my book and then probably just go to bed later. So that's my chilling night. It's thunderstorming now. Like it wasn't thunderstorming that much earlier. Like it rained a little bit. But then it stopped for a long time, and now it's finally starting to rain again. I wish we would get a really good thunderstorm. Like, so peaceful and relaxing to me, and I just love the sound of them. You guys probably can't see it, but yeah, it's like pouring down the rain right now. Like crazy. I just got done making my breakfast journal video and saving a hummingbird's life. We get tons of hummingbirds where we live, and my mom likes puts the feeders out and everything and one of the hummingbirds actually got caught on our porch flying around our light like I guess he was stuck and he didn't know where to go because the light was blinding him or something so I turned the light off and I went out there with a flashlight and he was gone like he had flew off of our porch and everything he was sitting in that same spot in that little area for a long time just like flying around in circles because he didn't know where to go or what to do and I felt so bad for it, but I just saved a hummingbird's life. And I fed the Hamburglar. The Hamburglar is a raccoon that comes onto our porch and eats my cat's meow mix, his food. I named him the Hamburglar because he has a little mask and he also steals food. So I thought Hamburglar would be the perfect name for him, for him too. I have like a huge heart for animals and it's like... People, like, I feel like I do care about some people, but, like, most people I don't really care for. I'm not a people person. I'm more of an animal person. Like, if I could just live in a world with nothing but animals, I would be so happy. Now that I've made my Rectus Journal video, it's kind of late, so I don't really know what else I'm going to get to do, but I'm going to try to watch at least some of my shows on my DVR and record my shows for the week and then possibly read and then go to bed. I'm going to go finish what I need to do. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.